I want to talk about the bond market. There was a uh, equity market committee to look into the equity structure, market structure of the stock market that was under your predecessor. You have a new committee of, uh, to look into the bond market structure. One of the things that's amazing to me watching this for so many years is while stocks have essentially moved to an electronic trading model, the bond market has not. There are efforts to do so and it's moving, but it's very slow. But you know, most of this is done over the counter. Uh, what would you like to see changed in the way bonds are traded and how it might impact investors? Well, let me say this. I don't, I don't think it's for me to decide what I would like to see, but what we are seeing is increased electronification and our job is, as trading changes, to make sure that trading is efficient, that it's transparent, and that our markets are resilient. And we formed the, we formed the FIMSAC, the Fixed Income Market Structure Advisory Committee, because as this electronification is coming to the fixed income market, we want to make sure that our regulations are keeping up with it and that we're getting those results. Right? And, we, and, the, and we, we did this in the equity market. I mean, today's equity market is much more efficient than the equity market of 20 years ago. There, is there room for improvement? There always is, and we're looking at it. But I want to make sure the same thing happens in the bond market. Let me go to the stock market, because this is an issue we debate here at CNBC all the time, uh, and that relates to the fragmentation of the markets. Mm -hmm. About 40% of the trading in stocks today are done in dark pools, um, where, as you know, there are restrictions, of course, that they're not basically making bid and offers. They're not clearly available. Mm -hmm. uh, some people have railed against this, uh, saying the market's become too fragmented, too difficult to operate in. Uh, what's your viewpoint on that? So, let me take a step back. My viewpoint on the equity market is we have to understand that there's a lot of different aspects of the equity market. The large cap stocks trade much differently from the mid cap and small cap stocks. So a conclusion like that one about you know where trading takes place and whether it's efficient or not may be different for a large cap stock versus a medium cap or small cap stock. We are looking at those issues and assessing whether our rules, including our rules for alternative trading systems, accommodate both large cap and small cap stocks. I gotta let you go, but before I do, are you convinced that investors, the average investor buying stocks on a regular basis today are getting a better deal, a fairer deal, a more transparent deal than they were getting, say, 40 years ago? Yes, I'm convinced of that but it's our job to see if we can get them a better deal. Okay. Jay Clayton, Chairman of the SEC, thanks so much for joining us again. Great. First Thank time you. on live television. Thanks of course, think about that. Jay Clayton.